Greedy dealers and electric cars from Volvo Polestar. Welcome to another automotive news update. It's Elizabeth from the Homework Guide team. If you missed the big guy, Kevin, stay tuned to our community page for updates on his recovery. Your outpouring of prayers and support has been tremendous and appreciated. Today's menu includes greedy dealer groups, a more efficient finance office approach, and electric cars from Volvo and Polestar. Remember, you can use the cool new chapters features below to fast forward to exactly what you're looking for. Let's roll. I've mentioned in the previous auto news video that there are several publicly owned dealership groups in the United States. Many of them are now eyeing new acquisitions, you know, to grow the network of dealers all owned and operated by the same greedy people. Dealership profits were at a record high in 2020. And even with inventory trouble here in 2021, these record high profits have continued. Here's the hilarious part and it just cracks me up. Dealers who are selling their businesses are pricing them at the new higher rate of income potential and the dealership corporations don't want to buy them at that new higher rate. They want the old pre-pandemic prices back. Well, Aww. all I can say is, ha, isn't it ironic? For example, Asbury Automotive Group CEO David Holt said pricing is why his group over the past six months has walked away from dealership acquisitions that could have generated three or four billion dollars annually. Mr. Holt has $9 billion of dealerships on his plate right now that he's considering. AutoNation, Lithium Motors, Group One Auto, and others are also on the hunt for some more dealerships and some more money. Surprise, surprise. Now, if you've been around the car business a while, you're used to the standard car buying process. First, you hit the salesman, you get to to the manager, head into the finance office, etc. But Royal Automotive in Tucson, Arizona has shown that this isn't the most efficient model. Yeah, here's why. How many of you got through the process of selecting your car, agreeing to the price, then you sit down and wait and wait and wait for one of the finance managers to start working on your loan? Comment below, what's the longest you sat and waited to get into the finance office? Three or four hours is not uncommon. That's why Royal Automotive started a new process at its Kia and Buick GMC dealerships about 10 years ago, and they're calling it a buying center, which eliminates the clog in the pipeline at the handoff to the box. These are hourly employees who have access to all the car deals in process. So you don't have to wait for one person to do all the legwork on your loan. Any of these employees can jump in and move a deal along for you. They earn $16 to $19 per hour plus bonuses. Royal Auto reports that its F&I profit per vehicle has doubled in the last 10 years and its reserve, which is the money it receives from the lenders to write these loans, has tripled. For customers, once a deal is agreed upon, they can get you out the door in as little as 15 minutes boasting 60 minutes at the most. And subprime deals, meaning the customer has poor credit, are much more likely to get done. These deals can often fall through because the process requires a lot more hand-holding and prodding on the part of the financial officer to get finished. Volvo pledged to be solely electric by 2030. They announced, we are convinced the premium car market will be electric. This year, electric Volvos represented 20% of their US sales. Volvo has a long list of EVs in the making and they don't actually look half bad. Take a peek at their two fully electric cars. First up, the C40 Recharge, starting at 58,750, is battery powered, coming early 2022. It's a sporty version of the Volvo XC40. The C40 is Volvo's second electric vehicle, but the first to be available as an electric only. The dual motor batteries can be charged to 80% in 40 minutes. It also has a leather free interior, whatever that means. The website doesn't actually say what the seats are made out of. The second all-electric is the XC40 Recharge, a hot-selling compact crossover starting at 55,300. It debuted in the fall of 2020. Its range is 223 purely electric miles. You can recharge from 10% to 80% in just 33 minutes. And check this out. There are storage bins specifically designed for water bottles, gym bags, phones, laptops, food, and more. Who knows? The XC40 could be the next fad for hip and trendy soccer moms. The Recharge series continues with the following hybrid models. For wagons, only the V60, starting at 67,300. For sedans, the S90 is 60,050. And the S60 starts at 47,650. For SUV hybrids, we have XC60 starting at 54,250. And XC90 starting at 63,8. The X90 Recharge is an all wheel drive electric hybrid with up to seven seats. It has Bowers and Wilkins speakers for an enhanced driving experience and a world first air quality system, which prevents up to 95% of hazardous PM 2.5 particles from entering the cabin. These particles are common to wildfires and some industrial processes and things like big burn piles of those cheap Chinese tires. Well, then this makes me chuckle. On the Volvo website, the 
Other cars they offer, you know, the ones not even trying to be electric, include two wagons, two sedans, and three SUVs. What's interesting about all these new Volvos is that they have a built-in Google-controlled system. Just like with your smartphones, you simply say, hey Google, and make your request verbally, and you get to leave your hands on the wheel. I'm not sure how I feel about this. Homework Eye viewers, are you ready for Google to not only control your computers and phones, but now also your car? I need a gut check on this, so please comment below. Volvo's affiliate, Polestar, is perhaps not even a brand you've heard of, and since it's new to the market, I'd like to give you a glimpse of what they have to offer. First released in 2019, the current Polestar 1 is a coupe based on the Volvo Concept Coupe with an electric range of 77 miles. It's powered by a 2.0 liter four-cylinder turbocharged engine and is billed as an electric performance car. You can still get one, but it is a limited edition with only 1,500 produced. That explains why the price is 155,000 buckaroos. The Polestar 2, which is currently for sale, is battery powered and all wheel drive. The platform is the same as the Volvo XC40 crossover. The dual motor version boasts 408 horsepower and 249 miles of electric driving range. It's MSRP 49,990. Later this year, there'll be a single engine version with a range of 265 miles and 231 horsepower. MSRP begins at 459. The Polestar 3 will begin production here in South Carolina, you know, to avoid taxes and tariffs, late in 2022. Polestar 3 will be a five-seat crossover coupe with an all-new electric platform planned. With dual engines, it will run 300 miles per charge. This mid-size model will compete with the Jaguar I-Pace and the Audi e-tron. And finally, the Polestar Precept is a performance sedan planned for 2024. The seat material will be made from recycled plastic bottles and cork vinyl. I wonder if the seats will make the annoying crinkling sound that my kids do in the back seat with plastic bottles. The Precept will feature the next generation of Android Automotive, which have advanced eye tracking and proximity sensors. And with the way things are going, I'm not sure where all these electric cars are going to park. I mean, I'm guessing they're going to rock down to Electric Avenue and then they'll take it higher. I mean, the prices anyway. So what are your thoughts, Home Archive viewers? Are electric cars really going to enhance our way of life significantly? Or is it just a money grab by a new industry trying to push out an old industry? All right. If you appreciate our video today, consider giving us that great big thumbs up and please always remember to comment on our videos and share them with your family and friends. Comments really matter because they boost our searchability and lead others to great homework guy content too. And don't forget, I like to mention your comments in our videos. The entire homework guy team is here to represent you, the car buyer, and that's what we love to do. Thanks everyone for coming back. We'll see you on our next video. As Kevin always says, you guys rock. I'm the amazing Elizabeth. Gotta go.